works really good on that GoPro too. Is it? Yeah, with that little adapter I bought. I can wear mine. But I can't do both for that long a distance. You know? Well, I mean, if that's getting all of our stand stuff in, that's a help. I'll walk behind you if it falls off I'll yeah it's on tilt it up let me see what that shot looks like this is staying on there right no it ain't huh, go are you good is that heavy awkward do you need help yes i think we'll be fine i don't know about that GoPro though unless it's filming you here hang on Because we're dumb and we love it. Just keep it on that GoPro. You're kind of just pointing down. It's that deal's loose, it just yeah. wobbles around. Hold this real quick. I don't want to stop filming. I need to adjust this. I like this little case. I've looked at them before. Well, basically all it does is allow you to use an external microphone. Yeah. If they were really cool, they'd make it so it can charge and use a microphone at the same time. The GoPro sucks. <laughs> oh, that's way better. My knees, my thighs were hitting that every time I took a step. 
see what well, I would come to this is. This is a pretty good little setup. The book got weight. This is pretty light. But we could go in for the car just like this. We have literally everything yeah. other than like lunch. Yeah. Well, we could pack more. Here's my, my medium bag. Yeah. We got cameras, we got tree arms, we've got everything. This is the whole deal. I'm telling you, this little fanny pack is a saver, how I got my bow on it. Oh yeah. Like. All right, hey everybody, GoPro, uh, <laughs> me, GoPro me and Al here, we're uh, walking in, we are literally loaded to the T, got camera equipment, hunting equipment, hunting and camera equipment, tree stands, climber, hang on, steps, we've got everything we need, we're going 0.82 miles back on public land, uh, to a location I'm not going to disclose for reasons I'm not going to disclose but in this area Alan has been getting uh, pictures of a is he an 8 point? well if you count every little point it's 10 point 10 point double drop tine buck they're little drop tines little drop but tines. they're drop tines yep. so uh, Sunday me and my brother-in-law came in here and went uh squirrel hunting and lo and behold i walked up on said buck so we kind of got an idea of a location he was in on his feet in the daytime about two two and a half hours before dark so alan has a buck tag matt has a doe tag plan is we're going to set up in trees basically right beside each other at least within what whispering distance at least we need to be able to eye contact yeah. at least and uh we've got six cameras with us thanks to him uh we plan to film pretty much everything from a lot of different angles hope to make a really cool looking video even if we're not successful we want to put out a good video with some cool shots but the plan is if a buck comes in alan's on it if a doe comes in i'm on it so uh, we'll see what happens. This spot is a little saddle acorn flat. Um, should be pretty good. Stick with us. Bye. Let me check my phone. Okay, hang a left. This road. I'm gonna stop this. She's hot, dude. Okay, so I hit stop, it just shuts off, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna put this up, let's unload this cart.
I sat up in the tree, me and Matt, sitting together. He's basically just right here, only about maybe 10 yards from me. My boy had a kind of a dunce there moment. Man, I brought everything except for I left my stinking release in the uh, in, in my other backpack in the car. So I got an 80 pound Hoyt Factor, Turbo Factor, 80 pounds. I didn't think I could pull it back with my hand, but with my fingers, but I am able to. to be real careful that it might move it off the rest where it normally would set, but I think if I got a close shot on this buck, I'll still be able to take it. It's not what I want, but I'm still in the game, so hopefully we'll have some deer movement come through here. Well, we haven't been here very long at all. Our wind did go kind of crazy. And I heard something down in this valley, and I could see a tail going up the other ridge. I checked the wind, and it, it turned and was blowing straight toward it. It didn't blow, which makes me think it probably was a buck. I didn't get a look at it. I just saw the tail. But we're up here. We're doing the thing. We'll stick it out and see what happens. folks well definitely a unique hunt here this evening uh, me and matt were able to team up and push ourselves further and farther um this evening as we could do on a on a solo hunt uh, unfortunately uh we got set up just a little bit later than anticipated and had some movement through there the area uh, before we were really 100 percent set up um but had a wonderful evening out in the deer woods um, and just was able to learn from the experience uh, to take in and to grow on our next adventure. Thanks again so much for staying tuned with us and we'll see you next time.